Welcome to Tech Topics brought to you by Cybervenger. We help keep small businesses stay protected and compliant with cutting-edge cybersecurity and IT solutions. Hello everyone, I'm Andy and the Managing Consultant for Cybervenger. Welcome to another in our series of NIST 800-171 Deep Dives, where we're going into each of the 110 controls for that standard. This standard is designed by the Department of Defense to protect controlled unclassified information. Basically, if you're doing business with the Department of Defense, you probably need to comply with the standard or you're not going to keep doing business. So this control is 3.2.2. Now, we covered 3.2.1 most recently, and that talked about training for cybersecurity. That training, however, in that standard was focused on end user training. Of course, the end user has to know security basics. In fact, there's a lot of studies out there that say one of the number one ways that companies get breached is by some mistake that an end user makes. Yeah, think about people clicking on the wrong thing, going the wrong website, clicking attachments they shouldn't. That kind of thing is very common. So you can see the importance of why general end user training um, is necessary to improve the security of any organization and particularly organizations dealing with CUI. In fact, CUI, just knowing what CUI is, is not super intuitive. There's a debate that goes on in some of these town hall meetings they have with the CMMC. Uh, people aren't even sure what CUI is that are in the industry, let alone um, people who are just lay people working, you know, accountants and or marketing people, uh, you know, CNC operators, whatever. Regular, regular people in the company need to be trained, right? And so we talk about that. But this in 3.2.2, is specific to your IT professionals. Now you'd think, okay, well, these guys are IT professionals. These guys and gals should know what they're doing already. And maybe they do. But I think the average user would be very surprised to know just how well-qualified IT people still know nothing about cybersecurity. It really is a very different, different discipline. Now, there's a lot of overlap, obviously. You can't be a good cybersecurity person without foundational knowledge of IT architecture and principles, your average cybersecurity person could probably build a network fairly well. Um, just because you need to know those principles, you need to know how packets travel across, you know, firewalls and, and routes and that sort of thing. You need to understand where the VLAN is. But the reverse is not always true. I've met some very good IT people, people who are sharp, who know what they're doing, who can architect a network great, who can, you know, understand VLANs and packets and routing and even managing firewalls that don't really understand the finer points of security. I've seen some egregious mistakes, well, from my perspective, big mistakes, that a lot of the other cyber, you know, other IT professionals are like, well, that's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And it's a training issue because it's a different discipline. So the uh, accreditation board, the standard board, NIST, has recognized this gap. And they're talking about how you address that. So you need to get training for your IT people specific for cybersecurity and, of course, specific for CY and then this 800-171. Now, what does this training look like? There's no set program. You have a lot of uh, flexibility to design your own program, but you should write it in a way that is consistent, that is defensible, right? Buying a single little secure five minute security video and having all your IT folks watch it or having them watch the same videos that are written for end users probably isn't going to cut the mustard, right? So, but as long as it's something that is reasonable and well thought out and well documented, that's always key with all these standards. You want to write down what your plan is. So you have it written somewhere. Oh, here, here's our plan auditor, you know, showing an auditor your stuff. This is what we plan on doing. And then here are our logs, our training logs and results showing that our IT professionals did in fact do the training program that we created. And then it's good to have some kind of evaluation to evaluate whether this training and the progress made against the training is actually helping with security. So I, I like to have a preliminary book training, either CBT or, or online classes or something like that for the internal IT staff, especially with the compliance standard itself, because that's very new to a lot of IT guys. And the... Um, kind of a one-on-one -on -one with cybersecurity professionals. If you have CUI in-house, you probably should be reaching out. I know this is kind of self-serving. This is what we do, right? Just bear with me. I'm, I'm, this is not just shameless self-promotion. But you really should have an IT co company that specializes in cybersecurity to train your IT staff on the finer points and go over how the specific principles are relevant to their network and their environment. Every environment is unique. And just like I say over and over again in these videos that security is not a product you can buy. You can't just buy a product and boom, now you're secure. It's a practice. You got to get your whole team 
to understand what the practices are and to execute. This is a typical classic management problem. Let's say you want to rebrand your organization. What steps would you do to get everybody using the new brand? Same thing here. What steps are you going to do to get everybody following the new security protocols and practices to comply with NIST? And it's good to have an outside company come in and do, say, a vulnerability scan or a security assessment or maybe even a pen test. And then you take those results, review them with your internal people, and show them how the various security principles apply to what they found. That's great training. You get the combination there, the one-on-one -on -one mentoring afterwards. And if you document that and show that you've done that, you're going to be a great position to show that you've definitely done your due diligence to any kind of auditor or if there's ever a breach you need to report it, you could show, hey, look, this is what we did. You know, we were just, it wasn't uh, a recklessness that caused us to get breached, just, you know, it's a tough opponent. So I, I think that's what that uh, standard really talks about, that need right there. And I think those are good ways to address it. And that's all I got for the standard. My name is Andy, and I'm really, thank you all for being here, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has provided valuable information to you. Be sure to share this video with other small business owners to spread the word about the importance of cybersecurity. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want more information about cybersecurity visit us at www.cybervenger.com.